Hi everybody, welcome to this special edition of Cheers Y'all, where we will talk about garnishes. You know, I, I really think that cocktail garnishes are super underrated because it is part of what makes the cocktail beautiful. So today, for instance, I got up and I wanted one of those Waterloo grapefruit flavored sparkling waters. I love them, love them. So I poured some in a glass and, and I added a little bit of my peach rosemary shrub. I may do a shrub episode later, but I thought, um, why not add a little rosemary? I got a big rosemary bush out here. Why not add a little rosemary and make it look beautiful? And so I did, and it is. It's beautiful and the smell is amazing. Oh, the taste is amazing. So don't underestimate your, your greenery that you have outside your herbs. Rosemary, basil, mint, thyme. Also, don't underestimate the effect of one single basil leaf floating on top of your cocktail. It's simple and it's beautiful. My go-to for garnish is citrus peel. You know, um, I, I've, I've talked about this before in previous vlogs because, you know, expressing the peel of a citrus um, puts all the oils on top of your drink and makes it taste, taste great, but just the peel in and of itself put into the drink is wonderful too. So I'm just, I had this piece of orange left and I was just gonna show you what I mean by that. But you know, you can take just a, a vegetable peeler or even a knife and what you're gonna do is just express the oils, um, face the outside out and you're just gonna squeeze it onto your, your drink. I'll do it with this one. Um, I'll also impose it right here, uh, just a, up close so you can see it happening. But if you do that, then the oils are expressed and you take that and you just rub it on the rim of the glass. Um, and then you just put it into the drink. I can do that, why not? Put it into the drink and you have a nice little garnish. Another thing. These little bamboo sticks, you get them at Kroger. They're not expensive, um, and you can do so much with these little picks. For instance, I put some blackberries on the pick, and I got a little coupe glass so I can show you how this how this would work. But whatever you've whatever drink that you have created, um, put some put some fruit on it and. Just like that, that's nothing, it's no big deal. But it sure does make your cocktail look fancy. And then one of the last things that I, that I thought that you might want to know about, it's still fruit, but it's just a little different take on fruit. I freeze grapes and cranberries, fresh cranberries. If you freeze them, they become the most beautiful cocktail garnish because, and I've already done it in this one, but, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some of this out so you can see this happening. But cranberries, frozen cranberries, they keep your drink cold because they're frozen. But what you need to know about cranberries is that they float to the top, and so you actually get the look of that that um, cranberry floating on the top. That's a beautiful garnish for Christmas. That rosemary it almost looks like a a little Christmas sangria already. With grapes, same thing, they're delicious, they keep your drink cold. What you need to know about grapes is that they sink to the bottom. So if I were to put this in my drink, you can see got a couple of grapes there sunk to the bottom. So don't be afraid to just try things, freeze fruit, put it in there, string it on the little bamboo picks, whatever. What I'm gonna teach you to do today is actually, I'm gonna teach you to dehydrate some citrus because it makes a beautiful 
garnish and it looks really fancy it is so simple but it, it looks fancy so I, I'm gonna show you um, actually what those look like here um, isn't that beautiful that's that is um, actually apple and um, orange and lemon we're gonna do orange lemons and limes today and recently I wanted to try this out before I attempted to show you guys but I dehydrated some orange and you can see I mean they're hard and they keep for a very long time I've had these in a plastic bag but you can put one and I did that you can put one in your drink and is that not beautiful um, I'll take a picture and I'll impose it right here so you can see just how pretty that is um, so we're gonna learn how to do that today now one trick that you will need um, you'll need some pretty firm citrus because the firmer the citrus the easier it's gonna be to slice we want slices of citrus that are very very thin thinly sliced um, I'm not gonna do any more oranges because I have lots of oranges but if you want to do orange then um, you can you can so right now we're gonna slice limes and lemons very thinly just as thin as you can possibly get it this is a really nice firm lemon so this is awesome great and I'm gonna go ahead and as I'm cutting the lemon I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seeds because that's not good I don't want seeds in anything all right and then so once I have that I'm just gonna put it on this cookie sheet so there are a couple of pieces of, of lemon lemons are my favorite citrus um, but you do have to deal with the seeds I really enjoy grapefruit too there are some different gins that are just amazing with grapefruit that monkey 47 gin and grapefruit peel Whew, amazing I'm gonna continue doing this. You can see how this is looking. I'm gonna continue doing this with lemons, limes, and some oranges. I'll go ahead and do some oranges, and and then we'll be then um, I will be right back. All right, so I've got lemons and limes, and I already have a few few slices of, of oranges um, on another pan, and I put that one in my 170 degree oven. And I'm gonna put this one in my other 170 degree oven. That's as low as my oven will go. And we're gonna leave these little wheels of citrus in the oven for one hour. You can see those have only been in there for about 30 minutes. And in another 30 minutes, we will take it out and turn those over. So I've taken these out of the oven and now I am just going to turn them. So they've been in the oven for another hour and I'm going to take them out, flip them over and put them back in. So you can see I just took them out and I'm about to flip them over. Some of them look like they're about ready. Some of the, some of the ones that are a little thinner than the others, but we're getting close. All right, we have been slowly roasting these thin slices of citrus all day pretty much all day so I'm gonna take the remaining pieces of citrus out of the oven and they're ready I don't know if y'all can see that but they almost look kind of brownish and they're they're hard uh, just beautiful little pieces of dehydrated orange dehydrated lemon dehydrated lime we have all different kinds and I'm gonna show you a fun way to use this so I have made myself an Earl Grey martini I love Earl Grey tea I don't know about y'all but I infused a little vodka with Earl Grey tea and um, put a little honey syrup and a little Lillet Blanc in there and I have made myself an Earl Grey martini so here is this and then what I'm gonna do um, I'll take a little dehydrated piece of lemon and I'm just gonna put that right there on the top I'm floating it right on the top I'll take a picture of it so you guys can see it up close but 
That is a simple, easy garnish, and you should try it. These things will last a long time. I put them in a Ziploc, and you can continue to use them and make some beautiful art with your cocktails. So until next time, cheers, y'all.